Well, I'm here with uh, the Boulder team, and uh, we're having a quick look around the office. So, uh, <clears throat> just spent the last couple of hours talking about their watches, and it's a really interesting story here. Um, story I wasn't too familiar with, and you actually started with a different brand first, right? So, um, do you have that one here? It's kind of interesting to show. I think this was one of them, right? You were telling me about. So, um, so what happened? You changed the brand name. You just tried to. Or, it's a, I mean, how, how, what's the story of you know moving from one brand to the next? And um, this is this brand, this particular brand, and then the style you see is it's quite dressy kind of mm -hmm. watch, and uh, we wanted to do something more uh, adventurous and more outdoorish uh, feeling. So we changed, we rebranded the 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 brand to a different brand called Boulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, which we, is good. I, I like uh, I like the joke, the in joke, yeah. the Boulder, and it's all capitalized. Yeah. So it's kind of like yeah. big and bold, and then it's all lots of travel related themes like yeah. the expedition, yeah. Voyager, yes. that kind of thing. So this is one I haven't seen before. That's your chronograph, yeah. right? Which I think you might still have in your store, yes. possibly. Yes. Um, but what really interested me about your store, and this is the difference between a genuine microbrand, I think, and a big company pretending to be a microbrand. I mean, not only do you have a kind of a nice small office where three desks are all working together, but you had a, not quite a failure, a deliberately can cancelled a campaign on Kickstarter yes. when you did your smartwatch, which is this one here, right? Can I, can I yeah. grab that? Yeah, sure. So th I found this was really interesting because it's a smartwatch with a sandwich dial, I thought, but you explained it kind of lights up differently with LEDs, so yeah. that's different. And you've also got a, um, you know, standard watch hands as well. So you came up with this concept for a, a smart watch, put that out on Kickstarter, had a huge number of people buy it, and looked like it was going really well as yeah. a successful campaign. You met, probably met your goal. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We are, probably several uh, times yeah, over, if I yeah, remember right. Yeah. So, but you ended up cancelling because you felt some. I mean, I'll let you tell the story because I'll probably just paraphrase it incorrectly here. But you've, uh, something happened so with start, the supply. Uh, we started with a uh, number of challenges that we faced. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so one of the one of the challenges we faced was with certifications. We need to go through CE and FCC because uh, these watches emit uh, signals. So we mm -hmm. need to go through that certifications to be safe to be able to you know uh, export to different countries. So the, the prices for that um, as, as accelerated. So. Um, yeah, as well as uh, when we produce, uh, you know, smart watches, we need to produce lots more uh, PCB than than normal watches. So uh, we need to produce like this close to five thousand five thousand yeah. PCB watts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, at the time we we didn't, even though we raised for hundred greater twenty thousand, so we. Uh, it's pretty good for the, a first Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, but the amount is actually insufficient to to actually kickstart uh, a hardware company. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we kind of more overheads and yeah, long, longer overheads. time. So rather than telling people after they'd spent the money and, and had the credit cards yeah. charged, you decided to. I mean, most companies would say, "Oh, we're yeah. successful. We'll find a solution." Yeah, yeah, and then exactly. they delay yeah. an extra six months, or yeah. the, they drop some quality yeah. piece. Yeah. Maybe you go back to mineral glass, yeah. ten dollars more on yeah. circuit boards or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, I think you did the right thing, and obviously it paid off, which is the amazing story. I mean, you had a. Not a failure, but a deliberate, well, we, we bit off more than we could chew, let's go back. But you were honest with people, they didn't get charged, and, and a lot of those yeah. people followed you into your first... Second, uh, second, se second yeah, which watch, is, uh, the which is the chronograph. Which is the chronograph. So I just find that's like, you know, you're a brand that looks after the customers. I mean, just in a nutshell, yeah. right? So yeah. this is why I just find it fascinating when you get some really big brands, even though they try... Some of them do, at least. Some, some of them, you know, uh, not mentioning any particular names, there's, there's, there's one particular company that's not Italian, that's rather large on the Kickstarter market, that mm -hmm. pretends to be Italian, that not so good on the customer service. But you guys are not just talking yeah. to people, you're actually trying it's to do the right is, thing. Is the, especially for yeah. Kickstarters. You're here for the long term. Yeah, bankers yeah. are the ones that, that believe in the project they, they mm -hmm. put up. They're taking and, the risk, yeah, and, and as, you're looking after them for yeah. that. And as a creator, it's our responsibility to actually sort out the supply chain in advance, and we make sure whatever we put up, we are able to deliver mm -hmm. and able to, to produce them. So, uh, I mean, at the time, it's really hard to really make that decision to pull out the project. We know we, we could have to continue the project and try to figure things out later, but by, you know, 
by right by we should uh, we should have you know uh, we should as a creator we should sort the supply chain first before we went out to to, to yeah. produce the watches I think you know definitely karma yeah. I think it paid off <laughs> yeah. uh, so you know I think people really appreciated you were honest and you just looked after their money so they, did, they didn't even get charged on the credit card um, so I'm just getting sucked in by these watches I know I spent some time looking at them already but you've got a really good selection here so these are the existing uh, Voyagers right down here which I actually own this one myself uh, I think I got it direct from you guys actually on your, yeah. your original pre-order when it first came out yeah and I was tempted to I get this one or this one. So it's nice to see them all here. So they're, they've all got different things for different people. And now you've got some sunburst dome yeah. versions coming out. Mm. Some slightly different colors, right? There's yes, a green yeah. one too. The green one, yeah. there's a green one. Green yeah. one. And of course, uh, I'm really excited by these uh, so many different watches. I like the um, expedition. expedition. Yeah, because you know, I know that there's been a ton of reviews, so I won't bother reviewing one. But I mean, not only is it a really nice uh, dual tone loom, right? Two yep. di two different mm -hmm. colors on the loom, and and the two screw down crowns. Uh, but I mean that strap is just you you've. Uh, I mean you've really gone to town on that strap, and it's not going to be one that's going to fray. I have straps that started fraying the first week I got them. When you have canvas straps, but yep. this is really solidly done, really nice piece, and you've got different colors uh, as well. And there's a, 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 the black's popular as well. And you're actually talking about, I mean, moving on to the uh, Odysseys here, because I actually have this exact one myself as well. Um, it just surprised me. I thought this was uh, PVD, but you do DLC now. Yeah. So this is the new thing, or oh, it's this, been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Our first batch. Our first batch. First yeah. batch. So the fact you could do, uh, you know, so I'll be candid and upfront, bit of a sales pitch here. So I was... Uh, Wondering if you're going to do a PVD bracelet at some point because that would be really cool just to get a, a fully black watch. Yep. Um, no, so not PVD, DLC yes, bracelet yeah. because people don't want PVD when it's black because it can scratch. Up, yeah. um, but these stainless ones are great and you've got different types of meteorite dial here. So this is meteorite too, right? This one. Yeah. Yep. But it's slightly different compared to this is uh, the black meteorite, yep. which is, I have that on one of mine from you as well yeah, the, bronze. Uh, the, the, the bronze one there but, um, but this is the more standard color uh, meteorite, or is that black as well? it looks different somehow uh, green. 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 Yeah. so it really brings out the two colors there quite nicely oh, that's awesome so you've got, you've got a really good selection of watches here and you've got new ones coming out soon which uh, yeah, they're hush hush. They had to take them out the case first <laughs> before we did this. But I'm I'm really excited about one in particular. So um, can't talk about that, which is a pity. But maybe so, I'll, I'll do a so. review next year. I'd love to see one when it comes out for a review. Uh, but that's really awesome. So thank you for showing. Really appreciate. It. It's just so nice. You know, people can see you have your posters up on the wall. Um, you actually did posters. Look at this. So did you guys? design this yourself or you work with graphic artists to do this kind of thing? No, it's all by ourselves. Yeah, all by ourselves. It's, it's really <laughs> nice. So you could take these to a trade show. Do you get a booth? Sometimes do you go to the watch shows? Um, not at the moment. Maybe but next well, maybe time. next time. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I, I just want to talk about what's coming next, but I can't. So um, I really appreciate you showing me stuff. So we'll have to look at this another time, uh, whatever's in there. Um, but this is awesome. So thanks for the yeah. tour. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot.